This week on Sport Fishing, we jumped aboard the first string out of San Pedro, California last night, and we headed all night over to San Clemente Island. And that's where we are right now. It's just coming up daylight, and that's San Clemente right here. We're gonna go in close to the island, look for a calico bass, yellowtail, maybe even a halibut or two. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah! This is what fishing's like. I have been fishing along the Pacific Coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. First one was dead. Second one. The other one was too small. All right, let me what? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Are we on? Another white fish on the first string. I'm Chris out of Corona, fishing on the first string with Dan. Yeah, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. There's Ernie with the monster. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a nice little Daddy's coming over. Oh, I love white fish. What's your number, boss? Number is 14. Who wants it? White fish. Nice white fish. Nice. Went over. Yeah, they didn't like it. I got two. <laughs> Cast it out and let it sit. What do you got? Calico. There you go. That one could be legal. Here's a calico bass. So Skipper just made a move. We're working our way out toward the west. So far it's just been a lot of uh, whitefish and a few calico bass and he's got a couple of them. Was that close? Just shy. Just shy. Oh, okay, we're going to release this one. Spin them off. It's a little too fast. I just shipped it in low. Here we go. Here it comes. Salmon grouper. How's that for a fatty? Oh, yeah. oh, How are you going to prepare this guy? you going to eat him today? That's not going to eat him all. My name is AJ. I'm on the first string. I caught this sheep. I mean, this white fish on the first string. My biggest fish I've ever caught was this yellow tail cat. 20 pounds. 20 pounds. 22 pounds. <laughs> Day two, we'll be right back. Well, this is the second hit for another yellow. She's shoot, shooting straight out. It's a girl? I can Yeah. I can gaff. They're all she's. Nice. 
This is George, he's been fishing with us many times in the past. And uh, he's taken about 10 years off, and he's finally come back with us again, and he's rewarded with a nice yellow tail. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. You got a seal right on him. Yeah. I think mine's a bass, so here it comes right here. Yeah, mine's a calico. There's a calico. Nice calico bass. Clear that fish up. Clear that other fish up, guys. There's a nice calico bass I just caught. I want to get a yellow. I'm going to try to get another yellow right now. That's a beautiful fish. All right, let's take a little break from the action. We're going to go to the tackle box and show you gear we're using today here aboard the first string. This week in the tackle box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today over at San Clemente Island. You know, every time I come to San Clemente, I never know 100% what we're going to fish for. Sometimes we go out here thinking we're going to just catch rockfish, but like you're seeing in this week's episode, there's not only rockfish here, good calico bass fishing, and there's yellowtail here too. In the past, I've even caught bluefin tuna anchored off the island. So you got to bring a little bit of everything as far as tackle. Like I said, you never know exactly what you're going to be fishing for. And San Clemente, the, you know, the chances of catching a, a yellowtail or a calico or rockfish is just endless. The fish are always here. They're all around the island. So when you bring your tackle, make sure you bring hooks that you can fish variety of baits, anchovies, sardines, mackerel, even live or dead squid. That's why I really recommend when you make your hook selections, you have different sizes. The small hooks for the anchovies, the bigger hooks for the mackerels and sardines, and if you had to, you can use the same hook for the squid, the live squid or dead squid. So you want to have a selection of hooks. Don't just take two hook sizes with you. Have five or six different hook sizes. So whatever bait you have to fish with, you're prepared to go with. Remember, you're not matching your hook size to the fish you want to catch. You're matching your hook size to the bait that you have to fish with. Another good bait to bring with you is the bucktails. B-52 bucktails work great for the calico bass, the rockfish, and you can catch some yellows on them too. In the past, I've caught lots of white sea bass and big halibut bouncing a bucktail with squid on it. So that's the basic gear you need. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Okay, see what you got color? Seal grabbed it. We were right there. Well, we'll see what we got here. Nice right. starry eye. That's, that's, uh, yeah. I'm trying to take all the pressure off the red. Nice starry eye. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, looks like yeah, over the top of it. Nice. It's foul hook. Nice and easy. Nice work. Yeah. Good fella. Smacked him, huh? Nice, Dad. Let me get up. Where are you at? Get oh, the coffee oh, Barracuda. Oh, cute. Legal berry. Good line I, I got. Need a gap. Yeah. Good proud owner. All right. San Clemente Island log. Well, we're, fishing. we're fishing the west end of San Clemente Islands, basically targeting yellowtail. It's been slow so far for all of us over here. We've had, I think, the best of it. It's only a handful of fish we've hooked or whatever. And we've seen good sign of fish up this way of the island just about every afternoon, so we're hoping we repeat. That's basically the wrap. Scratch fishing, but we're making the most of it. Just got bit fishing a live sardine. Does it? Not sure what it is. I don't know. Yeah, it's my time. Taking line. Come on up, Dan. Come on. All right. Come on, bud. Way behind. Come on. Let him under here, Hoka. Way behind. Here's our skipper, Brad. <laughs> oh, just oh. lost my fish. Had a yellow on. He's going to introduce you to Brad, so let's introduce you to Brad, anyways. He's the owner operator here on the first string. Been wanting to fish with him for a long time. Finally worked out this year. Thanks for having us on, man. Thanks for having you. 
So right now we're at the island. We're over by the airstrip. Yeah. We're up there on the west end of the island, yes, Greg, like Dan said. We've been seeing, like I said, good sunny yellowtail up here as late as yesterday. It's all afternoon, so we've had a tough morning, no doubt about it. But there's, we, I see fair sign on the machinery here, so I think we have a fighting chance to get up here, for sure. All right, thanks, man. Yeah. I'll land the next one for you. Okay, go up. Keep pointing, buddy. Keep pointing with me. Point, point, point. You're okay. Out away from the boat. Out away from the boat. Out away from the boat. Tip out. Fight. Stick this thing. Easy, easy. You got it. Right here, there. Yeah, yeah. What you guys do? Yeah, yeah. It's like you're going to stop. Keep going. Get back in the water. Don't want to get back in the water. Fall into it. Right. Ooh. Yeah. Mike. We got another yellow going. This is Mike. He's on a fish. Trying to get him in real quick. Oh, no. see oh, no. right, there's color right there. I'm here at San Clemente with Dan Hernandez on the first string. Nice fish, Mike. We're going to take a little break from the action here for the first string and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of those delicious fish we're catching today here at San Clemente Island. Nice show. This week in the galley, we're in San Diego, California at the patio in Mission Hills, right on the border of Chris Hill. And standing next to me is Chef Will. Hey, Chef. Hey, how's it going, Dan? How you thanks doing? for inviting us back. Yeah, thanks a lot. And what do you have in store for us today? Uh, today we got a little lo local sculpt in here that we're going to prepare whole fish style. So we're going to do it a la plancha. A la plancha is our flat top right here. So you can do it all different types of ways. You can do pan sear. Some people fry the whole fish. What we're going to do is going to get a nice sear on the flat top. So what we're going to start with, we're going to season it, salt and pepper, very simple. You know, I like to season my fish. As you can see here, we scored the fish a little bit. That also helps with the skin, you know, so you, when you put it on the flat top, you know, fish tends to like shrink up like that. So you put some score marks on it to let the skin do its own thing. And then when, when you have a nice sear on it, the skin stays nice and crispy without it getting all messed up in. All right. So you leave it, let the flat top do its work, and then once we get a nice sear on it, we'll flip it over and turn it around and call it a day on the fish. <laughs> if you're doing this at home, would you use a... You could use a iron cast, skillet ca cast iron skillet, saute pan. The thing is heat. You know, uh, when you're searing fish, it's all about the heat. If you have it too low of a temperature, the fish is going to stick to the pan, uh, or it's just not going to get that sear. So if the thing is high heat, I like to say smoke it out. That means you're smoking the oil out. That means you're getting the oil hot enough to the point where you do put the fish in, it's not going to stick to whatever you're cooking it in. So this thing is about 400 degrees, so we don't have to ever worry about that not being too hot. So, all right, so we're just throwing a little bit more oil on there. So you want to, you know, that's where you're getting that sear. So you, all right, so now we're ready to turn our fish over. And what you want to do is turn it over, get a nice color on your skin right there, just like that. And now we're going to let the other side go. So now that we've seared our fish, we're gonna throw it in our oven and finish it all up. Because if you were to leave it on there, it would take it would take a lot longer to cook. And not only would it take longer to cook, it would burn because it's so hot on that flat top. So we're gonna finish it off in the oven now that we got our sear on the skin. And once it's finished in the oven, we'll be able to eat it. How long will it cook in the oven? Uh, we're talking about seven, eight minutes to finish it all up. Uh, being that it is a whole fish, it does take a little bit longer than a piece of filleted fish. Being that there's bones, it's a bigger, bigger mass to cook. Uh, so yeah, about seven, eight minutes until it's done. All right, so now our fish is done. Remember, it is going to be hot. <laughs> All right, so that's our fish. Nice skin co color on there. That's what we're looking for. We don't want it to be, we don't want it to have, uh, it'll fall off if it's not crispy enough. So it's good to go there. So we have a little bit of frisee here. Throw it down on the plate. It's pretty much just to throw some accent on the plate, give it something there. We have a little blister tomatoes, put a little fiend herbs on there. Fiend herbs are parsley, thyme, and rosemary. A little oil, salt, and pepper. And this is the way we present it in the restaurant. I should with a little bit more fleur de sel like that, and then a little good extra virgin olive oil all around there. And then I like to finish it off with a little chili oil to give it some spice there. All right. Chef, this looks delicious. Awesome, thank you. I've never had a whole sculpin. I've done 
I've seen this done like with whitefish and stuff. Uh -huh. I never thought about it with scoping, and it makes sense because scoping is one of the best eating rockfish we have. Oh, for sure. Especially when we get it super fresh, came in right out of the water today, so we aren't going to beat that. And like the chef said, they know when fish is done, but for those of you at home that aren't 100% sure when the fish is done, if it separates like this, where I just take the fork and it just comes off like that, it's perfect. Yes, sir. Say that again. That is really, really good. Awesome, awesome. This is amazing. Another dish I've never, ever had. Ah, super simple, right? Nothing crazy that you can do at home. That's yeah, very simple. Yep. And if they don't have the flat grill to cook Yeah, on. you could do a cast iron skillet, a, a saute pan. The key thing is temperature. You always want to have it super hot. That way you don't have any of that skin falling off. Right. The idea is to keep that skin crispy and keep it going. That way you know, it gets a nice little sear on there. And, and, it, and that skin is really delicious. Yeah, right? Yep. Awesome. That's awesome. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Dan. Chef Take Will, care. we're at the patio. Mission Hill, San Diego, California. You can always find you on Facebook. Facebook, Instagram, we're always on it. All right, thanks again. Thanks a lot. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fish. That was all straight yellow right there, guys. That's a nice fish. That's what we're here for. Right, well, that's that's There's a nice wing pie, gentlemen. There's another one. We got four fish going right now. We're here at Clemente for the first string. Looks like we got four or five yellow tails going right now. It's pretty awesome. This is what the skipper said. We had to wait for the sun to come out and for the early afternoon and we get the right conditions. And it's happening right now. This is why you come fishing. Where's the pie? Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay, there's another yellow steel. Yeah. That's so many islands. We got five fish going. I just lost another one. My line broke. I'm gonna go to heavier line. Just fishing 25 to get bit, but they're just on the soft on the kelp and on the structure down below. So I'm gonna move up to 30 pounds. You got a yellow one. Fishing with Dan. Trying to get on the trip for three years. Finally got off. <laughs> Having a good time. Beautiful, beautiful yellow tail. My first one today. Yeah, okay. I will not hold you. I'll bait them up, flat for you. Alright. Hey. Go, go, hold that up, way out, away from the boat. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. That one's down, that one's down. It's nowhere close. Just <laughs> Yeah! Woo! All right. Oh, wow. Long time coming, but we finally got it. Right. Here we are going on here. Yellow tail on the first train. Woo! Long soap. Right, guys? Stay up at the rail. Stay up at the rail. Oh, oh. Down there, the red one, Steve. 65 pound braid. Come on down. Come on down. Down, top shot. I'm above him. I'm over him. Yeah, need him. Let's go. Oh, he's a goer. I got him. Line, line, line. Get the right. yeah, a, jet, yeah. a little bit of hardware on them, but... Good job, Steve. That was close. Actually, I was trying to, trying to hurt you. <laughs> All right. I don't care where I hooked them. Oh, no, it's a bass. Calico bass, 50 pound fluorocarbon. <laughs> there we go. Nice calico bass. Okay, we're doing really good here on the first string. We got yellows going. 
got more yellows boiling. We're going to take a little break from the action. When we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, the way we got all these yellowtail today was on live bait. Skipper told us on the way out, the fish over here at the island been biting on live bait, and that was the key. We had a good supply of live bait, but they were really big sardines, and we had some mackerel in there. And because of that, you had to use a large hook. And I was going with the 5-0 hook today. Hooked lots of fish. I didn't land any of those yellows. I got busted off three times and lost one of the seal, but um, I was able to hook them. Just really tough fishing for me but everybody else in the boat did really good. They caught lots of fish. I got some nice calicos, but that's this week's tip of the week. When you get in a situation like this, nice fish like the yellowtail we had today, big bait, you gotta go with a big hook. And again, 4-0, 5-0 hook, you may think that's a big hook, but it's not when you're fishing for yellowtail and you're using large sardines and mackerel for bait. That's this week's tip, use a large hook, you got large baits. I wanna thank the crew the first string, Especially his skipper Brad did a great job. His whole crew was wonderful. We had lots of fun fishing with them today. Well, I want to tell you too that a lot of you always ask, how do you get on a trip like this? Maybe you want to take part of action like this that we had. All you have to do is go to our website, look at all our charters and sign up. It's that simple. All the people you saw on the trip today, not professional anglers, they're just viewers like you at home that enjoy the show, they sign up and join us. All right, well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.